Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Sometimes it's quite annoying if you are asked to answer chat boxes one by one, especially we have a long-winded list and we have to delete the caption and right-click to link it to the desired cell so that we are able to evolve in the calculation. Therefore, to make life easier, instead of insert chat box and link to the desired cell one by one, we can actually make use of VBA and let Excel to insert a link cell for us. The idea of inserting chat boxes by using VBA is I'm going to run through every single cell on the selected range so that we are able to fix the position immediately after the chat box is added for a particular cell. At the same time, we can link the chat box to the selected cell. So we must first check the range needed. For this case, the range should start from C2 and up to V145. We can now go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. I'm going to write the code in this sheet, that is sheet 1. So double click it. As usual, start by giving a name. I'm going to name this at chat box. As spoken just now, we are going to use a for loop to run through each cell in the selected range. The cell here is just a dummy. It can be any word or any letter as long as it is not reserved. So we have to tell the range, which is in sheet 1 dot range bracket. Remember to type as string. Use quotation marks. We start from C2. Use colon to indicate the range up to V145. Quotation mark and close bracket. We can now add the chat box to the given sheet. That is sheet 1 dot chat boxes. Unfortunately, we don't have the correct suggestion from the list. This is because this object is currently unavailable, which means that when writing this code, we have no suggestions at all. So we have to make sure we follow and type correctly. Otherwise, we might fail to insert the chat boxes that we need. Use dot add function to insert this chat box bracket. We have to bear in mind that this add function with four parameters in the sequence left top with height. So which means that we should provide the desired left position of the chat box. First, I'm going to refer to the left position of the current cell. Let's consider this cell to better illustrate this example. I'm going to split this cell into five equal parts and the chat box is going to be placed at the middle of this cell. So which means that the chat box is placed at the third fifth of the cell width. In other words, we have to add 2 out of 5 times of the cell width to the left position. Comma, proceed to the top position. Simply the top position of the cell. Comma, the width of the chat box. Since I split the width of the cell into 5 equal parts, and I take only one to be the width of the cell. So which means that we can take the cell width divided by 5, comma, proceed to the last argument, that is the height of the chat box. I'm going to take 90% of the height of the cell, so we times 0 0.9, which is equivalent to 90%. Close bracket, and I'm going to immediately select the chat box that is nearly added. So we have dot select. The purpose of doing this is simply to make the coding part easier. This is because with this selection, we do have to bother what is the actual name of the chat box. And we can remove the caption as well as link the chat box to the desired cell. So we have dot characters dot text and we should set equal to nothing. Simply put two quotation marks in order for us to remove caption. Followed by dot link cell and we can link to the current cell. Use dot address property and we can now end this selection. Start with with. Of course, we have to end with with. Another important issue we have to take care of here is if let's say that is a chat box, when we check on the chat box with link cell, the word through will appear on the cell. And let's say we don't want to see any bird, so I'm going to change the font color of this cell to white. Set equal to VB white. 
After finish inserting a chat box for a given cell, we can proceed to the next. And the coding part is now done. Let's click on the run button to run the code. And we are able to see the chat boxes added by Excel. And we just have to wait a minute or two to allow Excel to add chat boxes for us. Once Excel has finished added for us, let's select a cell, click on the chat box, check whether is it link. So link, correct? So uncheck, so false. Select some cells randomly and check it. With all these chat boxes, we can now perform calculation. To count for total present, we can set equal to the count if function. Select the range and set the criteria, which is equal to true. Close bracket and press enter. Select the cell, move the cursor to the bottom right corner, double click it. And now simply check some cells. Okay, update it correctly. Let's check for the second person. Also simply check for some chat boxes to check the accuracy. On the other hand, to check for the SMT rate, we can make use of the average A function. Also select the cells, close bracket and press Enter. Note that average A count for true value, but what we need here is for absent, which is false. So we have to take 1 minus the value. And the current rate here may not be correct. This is because some of the cells are currently empty, as we can see here, without true or false. So the average A ignore those cells. So we can first check all them and uncheck a few and check for the ascentism. And we should have the correct value. Of course, we can convert this rate to percentage. At the home tab, in the number format, click on the percentage sign. Increase the decimal point if needed. And lastly, move the cursor to the bottom right corner and double click it. And we should have all formulas. To make calculation possible, we can first check a cell, uncheck it. When we see false, let's copy. Select the entire range, then press Ctrl Alternate V. Paste only the values. And we should have all false for the link cells and the calculation will now be correct once we check on the particular chat box it will update automatically as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you